Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Well, it might be quick, it might be long, I don't know. But this will be the X reading. What, how they think about you, what they want to say to you, what their next actions are towards you. Um, also, we'll, we'll see what you want to say to the X. So cross watchers, you are welcome. All right, let's get into this. All right, so how does Aquarius feel about their X? All right, thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. How does the Aquarius feel about their ex? How does the Aquarius feel? How does the Aquarius feel about their ex? Okay, two cards when they come out. The Eight of Pentacles, okay, uh, the Temperance card. Um, so, Aquarius, you feel like you have tried over and over again with this person. Um, you feel like you were more invested in the relationship than they were. Um, you feel like right now you're just focused on work, working on something new, a new venture, a new business. Um, you don't have time for love. Uh, you don't have time to focus in that direction. Uh, you feel like it would be taken away from what is important right now, and it is business. Um, some of you feel like you're doing something over and over again. This person could be thinking of you over and over again, or this is you, but this is how you feel. Um, you feel like they're thinking of you over and over again, trying to penetrate your energy field here. You feel like the relationship you gave chances over and over again, or this relationship went in cycles, you know? It was intense one time. Well, it, it would be intense at a time, at a period of time. And then you guys would go to not talking or disconnection or um, well, falling out. And then it, it was just that same cycle, coming back together, being very hot and intense, and then falling out. Or this person, it was very intense, and then you, if this person ghosted you or you ghosted them. So it could be where there was no falling out, but it was more so it, you guys just stopped. You stopped um, dealing with each other um, at different periods. You feel like this person had a rotation of people, or of at least two to three people, I don't know, a rotation where they would, you know, spend time with you, then kind of ghost you or leave you hanging just a bit and go spend time with someone else, and then so, with someone else, and then come back to you. It's almost, you know, like they put you guys on a rotation. This is how you feel about your person. You feel like... Um, if they did have to travel for work, they were going to go see other people in their travels. Um, I feel like there was a whole lot of trust here. Um, it definitely wasn't blind. Well, it was blind trust um, for some of you. The temperance card here, maybe you were dealing with the Sagittarius. If you were not dealing with the Sagittarius, then you feel like... Um, you, you compromise too much. You gave, you made concession for this person just way too much. Um, you gave up a lot. You gave up a lot of your time, energy, your essence, who you are. Um, you feel like you, the, the compromise was detrimental to the relationship. You feel like um, you're not going to compromise this time around. You feel like in order for things to work or you, for you guys to get over um, the change, the disconnect that has happened in the relationship, um, you feel like you, you shouldn't have to compromise. This is what I'm feeling from the, from the temperance card. The, the, some of you felt like you were too patient with this person. You, you were too patient to the point of um, it, 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 built, it boiled over, like something spilled out. Like you just, it just kept building up to the point where it, it just you might have exploded on this person right you might have exploded on this person um you you felt like at one time that this could be a very wealthy relationship and you know of course wealth can mean money you know monetary gain or whatnot but i think you really felt like this would, could be a very um prosperous relationship where you, you both could prosper you both could thrive um, maybe this person didn't see it or see the relationship like you saw it or they didn't see you in the same light as you saw them. Um, again, back to compromising and giving up. Um, it seems as if you have to always be tempering your emotions here. Back to that boiling up. 
I don't know if you just let things get to a place of where it just you just boiled over on this person. You turned up on them. I mean, you let them have it. You let them have it for for uh, the several months that you didn't let them have it. I mean, you went from uh, six months back till the now. I mean, it's not the best thing to do, but at the same time, um, maybe this is what happened. Um, I feel like this person knows that they kind of uh, deserved it, or if not deserved it, they knew it was coming. Uh, it says that the both of you need to be comfortable in your masculine, and then you need to be comfortable in your feminine. Even if it is same sex, you still have to have the different polarities here so that the relationship can work. And it seems as if Aquarius, you weren't comfortable in your feminine, or if you were taking on that masculine role, you weren't comfortable in your masculine. It's almost as if the other one tried to dominate the other one, or it was both. You felt like they were trying to dominate you, and then they felt like you were trying to dominate their space. Dominate and trying to come over and be masculine, and then they felt like you were, you were trying to, they were trying to be too feminine, or they, they showed up, you know, with feminine characteristics. Um, I don't know, characteristics in terms of um, not being able to control themselves, uh, acting impulsively on their emotions, um, not being stern or solid in their decisions here. That's what I mean by uh, fem feminine characteristics. Um, you feel like maybe this person just wasn't mature enough, maybe even manly enough, if you will. I, that's up for debate. But... It seemed as if the both of you didn't feel comfortable in your feminine and your masculine. Therefore, there was a lot of clashing and acting out, and it was just it was just too much. It was it was rage at times. Let's see how your person feels about you. How does Aquarius person feel about them? The ex. How does Aquarius ex feel about them? How does Aquarius ex? Okay. Wow, the sun card. I've been seeing this card. So this person just thinks you are the bee's knees. You are everything, okay? Um, the sun card specifically says and a person comes into your life and brings you lots of happiness, uh, contentment, fulfillment. So maybe that this is what you did. You came into your life and you brought them a lot of happiness, contentment, fulfillment. They feel like you have a playful nature about yourself. But at the same time, you're able to uh, carry out, delegate, um, take the stand up for yourself they feel like you get a lot of attention you're very radiant okay you radiate light they feel like you're the light in their life if they aren't that for themselves you were or you are um this person just feels like you're very positive you have a positive outlook on things um they could have been the negative or the more pessimistic of the two you were more optimistic so this person, this is how they feel about you. They feel like um, you were very, you had like this kid-like innocence in terms of love and how you showed it and how you showed it to them. Um, you were willing and open to fall in love here with the sun card. Very nice. Um, how does Aquarius X feel about them? How does Aquarius X feel about them? The seven of pentacles. So they feel like, um, okay, so they feel there has been a period of inaction okay between the two of you this person is waiting on you there could be a period of like nine months nine plus months nine weeks something I don't know it's a period of where you guys are not talking this person is waiting for you to come back they're waiting uh, the seven of pentacles talks about the lord of unfilled success so this person knows that they can have success with you it's just unfilled right now they have been frustrated with the way that things are going or the way things have gone between the two of you but they're willing to see it through to the end okay whatever the end may be they're not giving up not not before the end okay um the seven of pentacles it says that this person this person feels like they put in a lot of energy investment with you i don't you, they have the seven of pentacles. You have the eight of pentacles. You felt like you did too much. You were over invested, and maybe they felt like um, they fell shot of getting a return on their investment. Maybe 
outside. It's just perspective and how you guys are both looking at each other. That's funny that they have the Seven of Pentacles and then you have the Eight of Pentacles. Um, you both balance each other out also. Um, this person feels like uh, giving to this relationship, to this um, marriage, business partnership, whatever this was, or all of the above. Um, you feel like it was a good investment. They just want to see the return on it, okay? Because they know that you guys can be successful. Um, they're ready to persevere and keep going and fight for this. Um, they've also grown, like, grown to the fact that they don't really govern what's going to happen next. And... Um, it's like they have just succumbed to the fact of doing nothing and just waiting, which is, it's a tactic. I don't know if it's the most um, successful tactic, but it's like they, they are okay with waiting, waiting for, I don't know, a sign, waiting for you, waiting for something. They're just okay with waiting, but they know that this relationship can be successful because we're dealing with the earth sign and not we're dealing with someone with earth in their chart. Um, someone who is grounded. Um, but this person feels like where they put their pentacles, they planted a seed in you. They have an attachment to you and they want to see this return. It looks like um, they're waiting. They're waiting for this. This person could also want to get you pregnant. Um, yeah, they also could want to get you pregnant here. Um, okay. That's what I'm getting for that. Let's see what's Aquarius next move in this relationship. What is Aquarius next move in this connection? What's Aquarius next move in this connection? What's Aquarius next move? The Ace of Cups. Okay, so Aquarius, it looks like you're just going to be focused on yourself, focus on reinventing yourself, maybe even getting a makeover, doing something for yourself. You're just going to be filled with spirit, the Lord of the root, of rooted waters. So it's like you're going to be studying maybe spirituality, uh, religion. Um, you could be a mystic or a psychic of some sort. You're really just really trying to um, hone in and cultivate your, your gifts, gifts from the heavens, um, trying to make them better, uh, trying to be better. If you have a business, it says that your biz a business idea, idea or venture can be very successful, very profitable for you. Um, your heart chakra is open. You're open to love. You're open to new friendship, open to new developments, open to finding your, your tribe here, your soul tribe. Um, and, and it looks like that's what you're going to really be focused on here with the Ace of Cups coming out. Focus on new love, new lease on life new phase in life, maybe even new friendships, um, new tribe. Okay, interesting. Let's see what your person's next move is. What is Aquarius X next move? What is Aquarius X next move? What is Aquarius X? Oh. Six of Swords. Okay, so this is either going to go one or two ways. And I'm going to clarify that Six of Swords. Um, they either wanted to move on and get over the drama, you know, that was or that is this relationship and, and move on together or they're going to be moving on. Um, they may come to a point where they may, they may rationalize this moving on and say, you know, it's just best for me to just pick up and move on and start elsewhere. Um with the Six of Swords coming out. They also may move on in secrecy. They don't to make a big hoopla about it. Um, not going to um, declare to you what they're doing. Um, they also could... This person also could grow, too, with the Six of Swords. They can move away from um, a very turbulent time in their life. A very... Um, I wanted to say misleading. Hmm. Your person could grow spiritually because the Six of Swords also talks about spiritual growth too. They can learn their lesson, move on, and grow. Um, coming from the five, five of Swords, knowing that they need to leave 
that whole uh, win lose draw type of energy behind knowing that they need to leave that ego based selfishness um, behind knowing that they need to leave that self sabotaging energy behind in order to have any successful relationship with anyone so your person could really um, grow not just move on but, but grow here they could really go into um, the transformative or, or the trans yeah trans transformation phase let's see give me one card for what the six of swords is for Aquarius person for Aquarius X what is what is, what is the six of swords for Aquarius X wow as I say that all of these cards flipped over so, all right wow should I say this for the extended? This is interesting, Aquarius. Very interesting energy from your person. All right. I'll say that for the extended, but let's see what your person, um, what they want to say to you. What does Aquarius person want to say to them? What does Aquarius person want to say to them? What does the Ace of Wands? They trying to. I mean, this word, uh, this card, you know, speaks for itself. Um, they want to make that magic happen again between the two of you. Okay. Um, what they want to say to you is they want to do something big with you, something monumental. Okay, um, take things to the next level. So this is an action card. So they actually want to do something with you. If this is um, going on a holiday, a trip, a vacation, um, moving in together, having a baby. This is conception, guys. Um, definitely having sex with you. Uh, this person wants to do something with you. Wow. Um, they're they're taming themselves and holding back right now uh, because they feel like the ball is in your court. Forgiveness needs to be needs to come from you to them, okay? And then maybe you know vice versa. Uh, they're waiting for you to rescue them out of this this entrapped place or this closed place, this closed down place. So I really feel like it was you, Aquarius, who walked away. Um, they're trying to be strong in not being able to either reach you, talk to you, be intimate with you, um, exchange idea with you. They're trying to be strong in you walking away. Um, they're trying to be strong in their life right now, but there's great discontentment and unfulfillment. They're also just throwing themselves into work too. And working on themselves and learning about themselves. They could be listening to something and doing something over and over again. They could also be looking for you. They feel like you, you took the friendship aspect away also with the relationship. Of course, they like having sex with you, seeing you, being with you, being affectionate uh, towards you, being physical with you. But this is coming up as this person uh, feels like uh, the friendship aspect is gone also. This person is really trying to tame themselves in order to be better for you. Also, they feel like, once again, the ball is in your court. They feel like this is another cycle. It's another... Um, they, they feel like your relationship is cyclical. goes in cycles. We're on and then we're off. We're on and then we're off. Whether they turn it off or you turn it off or you turn it back on or they turn it back on. They feel like this is temporary. And that's why they're waiting for you. They feel like you guys will come back together. Because there's an energy of... This person feeling like you meant for them. 
Okay, and they're meant to be with you. Okay, Aquarius, this is your reading. We're going to go finish this up at the extended in terms of um, what the Six of Swords means for your person. Are they moving on, forgetting about you, never to return? Or have they grown up? Have they matured? Have they gone on some spiritual retreat, journey, learned about themselves? We will talk about this in the extended. If you would like to purchase the extended, the link is below. Um, it's pinned at the top of the top comment. All links are below if you need to go and get your own personal reading. Um, thank you. Take care. Many blessings, Aquarius.